strings. Strings are how we put text data into a computer. Any text data can be a string, names, words, books, websites. Strings are made up of letters, numbers, and symbols. We call these things characters. Think of a string like a necklace, where each bead has a character on it. We string together letters. The single or double quotes are knots at the end that tie the letters off. Strings are represented with quotes. You can use either double quotation marks or single quotation marks. However, if you start a string with double, you must end with double. If you start with single, you must end with single. The reason are there are two kinds is to make it easier to create strings like the ones shown. In the first string, we can have single quotes because we wrapped the string in double quotes. In the second string, we can have double quotes because we wrapped the string in single quotes. So how do you have a string with both single and double quotes in it? You can use escape characters. By putting a backslash before a character, you create a special character. In the code shown here, we have a slash before the double quotes so that they are escaped safely. There are actually many kinds of escape characters. A slash before a lowercase n makes a new line in the string when it is printed, like if you pressed enter. A slash before a lowercase t makes the string indented when the string is printed, like if you pressed tab. It's a little confusing, but you can put a number in quotes. However, this means that you have a string and not an integer. The difference becomes very obvious when you try to add things together. 1 plus 2 is 12 instead of 3. Python is very strict about the differences between numbers and strings. Some people confuse variables and strings, even though they are very different. Strings are values, while variables hold values. You can update a variable with a new value, but you cannot assign to a string. In fact, that is a syntax error. Try swapping the order of the value and the variable in this code, and you will see for yourself that it cannot work. Rarely, you have to put a huge amount of text into your program. The best way to do so is to use triple quoted strings. The syntax is simple. You start and end the chunk of text with three quote marks. It doesn't matter if they are single or double quotes, as long as it starts and ends the same. 